Hello, my name is Christian Gutierrez, and in this presentation, I will go over my essay over the topic of how technology intersects with education and its accessibility. In my introduction, I utilize the prompt first to develop my thesis statement, and then I follow up with multiple reasons as to why I have such my stance. And I do this pretty early on to build my argument pretty fast, and I get the audience to understand why I picked my side. The reasoning that I use to pick my side is coming straight from my sources and evaluations from other outside sources as well. Here's my thesis. As technology allows students to be more open, participatory, and interested in education, it is without a doubt true that when implemented correctly, technology use in classrooms helps break down learning barriers for students. On to my next paragraph. The next paragraph I chose to do was my counter argument. I decided to go straight into my counter to have more reasoning to build upon later on in my essay when mentioning my sources. In this paragraph, I go over how technology has become a form of entertainment for many and may seem skeptical inside of the class. However, the applied solution is this, supervision being granted to the instructor that can easily monitor what's going down in class. Benefits provided would be the ability to have more information being provided at a much faster rate. I continue to go on to more benefits in my next paragraphs, but pretty much in my counter argument, I just explain how the ability to have such information at such a fast rate is a really big uh, pro. In my next paragraph, I decided to go more in depth over the benefits of technology using Pedagogy of the Oppressed by Paul Freire as my source. This article effectively describes what nowadays instructors are committing to, the quote-unquote banking method, a method where the instructor does not value their position to teach, so they merely deposit information in the students with no engagement or connection whatsoever. However, using technology, the ability to use that entertainment and align it with education is possible, nearly making the banking method obsolete. The class is more intrigued while engaged with using technology than simply being handed over words and numbers. One can even go at their own pace when learning. This way they can each have their own sort of individual freedom when learning at their own pace. Next paragraph, I speak about how technology is more aligned with language and its accessibility variations. I use the source Technology and Language Use, Language Teaching and Language Learning by Dorothy Chun, Brian Smith, and Richard Kern. This article provides reasoning and facts that help demonstrate the positive effects of learning the English language by using technology. There are multiple examples throughout the article that help prove its positivity, such examples being ex as being exposed to so much English on the web, allowing for more areas to learn. And these areas to learn can be anywhere from using articles on the web, websites, videos using subtitles, anywhere where the English language is being shown on through the web. This familiarity brings upon mental abilities that help build capacity for the being able to multitask and ability to learn. On to my next paragraph, I begin to talk about technology, but this time with the course of science. I use the outside source technology integration in the science classroom pre-service teachers perceptions by Abir P. Ramat and Janelle M. Bailey. And in this article, it talks about the varieties of technology and how it can be used in many different ways. Science was easier to learn through technology due to stats and data being more accessible and engaging to the students. The article provides reasoning that technology is very beneficial, but it's not being able to use to its fullest. This is due to the, there being a gap from the students and technology. The instructor then needs to fully understand the technology and know how to fully incorporate it into the class. Otherwise, there are multiple resources that aren't being used in the class that would definitely benefit the class for the better. And due to this being a thing, that's why I believe that technology should be more accessible to the teachers and the students for there to be a bridge to that gap of knowledge. In my next paragraph, I post some ideas that are worthy of being mentioned that kind of correlate with the sources that I've been talking about. The gap I mentioned before is detailed in this paragraph, and I state more on how not everyone has the ability to use technology, whether it be financial constraints or whatever. However, technology has the potential to equally teach every student 
So there should be more use of technology in the classroom that should be provided through the education systems and the schools. And last but not least is my concluding paragraph. In my concluding paragraph, I restate my thesis. I again go through my reasoning of each paragraph and why I used every source. The reasons being the variety of education that technology can provide, the sheer amount of productivity that can be provided in quick succession, the ability and safety to learn at one's pace and not fall behind the curriculum speed. And all that being said, I know that for sure technology can effectively break down the barriers of students trying to learn. And here in this slide, I'm just going to be going over some final thoughts after I'm done with all my project. And overall, I think this project changed my opinions because of my research. I found a lot of resources that talk about the efficiency of technology, and I never really took my time to appreciate the tool that I had in front of me. I never would have thought about technology like this, and I've come to realize its true benefits. I'm glad I did this to open up my eyes and uh, realize the, the things I took for granted pretty much. I think overall my essay was a little lackluster in incorporating sources into the arguments. This is just stuff that I think I could change, probably the sources and the quotes. I think everything else kind of went smooth, but overall, probably just the sources and quotes that would change. And I don't know if I could have any questions, but I put questions. And, and thank you so much for listening. Have a good one.